Hello and welcome to this top 10 video from Football Weekender. Real Madrid versus Barcelona, Boca Juniors versus River Plate and Celtic versus Rangers. These are some of the most well-known derbies in world football and for that reason you won't see those derbies on this list. We're looking for brilliant and fierce derbies that you might not know about. This is the top 10 world's most underrated derbies. For this video, I've teamed up with Pookie. It's a sports prediction app which is currently in its free to play version. It's a really fun way to predict the results of all the best football matches, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's get going with the top 10. Number 10, Bohemians versus Shamrock Rovers. Our list starts in Dublin. There are several teams based in Ireland's capital city, but the most fierce rivalry is between the oldest club, Bohemians, and the most successful club, Shamrock Rovers. Domestic football in Ireland is often overlooked by outsiders, so this is a real hidden gem for ground hoppers. This is actually one of the most difficult games to attend. The capacities of the stadiums for both teams are so small, that it's actually really hard to get hold of a ticket. Bohemians have had their ups and downs over the years, but have the proud distinction of hosting Pele and his Santos team at Dalimont Park back in the day. Rovers have had the best of it in modern times and are currently hoovering up league titles every season. The two sets of fans absolutely hate Hate each other, meaning fireworks are always guaranteed and lots of pyro. Number 9 Kaiser Chiefs versus Orlando Pirates. Next, we head to South Africa for the Soweto Derby. It was former Orlando Pirates player Kauza Maltung who founded the Kaiser Chiefs back in 1970. Clashes between the rival fans were really commonplace right up until the 1980s. Five derbies have been abandoned for various reasons, including pitch invasions and a beer can that hit the referee after being thrown from the stands. These days things are a lot calmer, and this derby is actually unique on this list in that fans in the stadium aren't actually segregated. The fixture attracts attendances of over 90,000 with millions more watching on television. And these two teams definitely have the two coolest names on this list. Number eight. Volarenga versus Lillestrøm. To Norway next and the East Country Derby. Norway's produced great players over the years like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Erling Braut Haaland, and Martin Erdegaard. But their domestic football is often overlooked. Volarenga and Lillestrøm might not be the most successful teams in Norway, but their games generate the best atmosphere. Volarenga light their side of the stadium up in their red and blue colours, and Lillestrøm turn their end yellow. In June 2013, three days before the match between the two teams, the statue of former Lillestrøm player Tom Lund was beheaded outside the stadium. Maybe they were just trying to cut his hair and got carried away. Number seven, Guztepe versus Altai. When most football fans think about Turkish football, it's the Istanbul teams that spring to mind. Fenerbahce, Galatasaray and Besiktas. But those games are too well known for this list. We're off to the Izmir derby, Guztepe versus Altai. Their match in November 2022 went viral after all hell broke loose. Inside the stadium, the Altai fans fired fireworks into the Guztepe fans, causing injuries to several people. If that wasn't enough, when the game was stopped and the ambulances came onto the pitch to attend the injured fans, a Guztepe fan ran onto the pitch and proceeded to smack the Altai goalkeeper over the head with a corner flag. Let's just say it as is, that's absolutely nuts. Number 6 Aris versus Pauk We're in Greece for number 6 and to Thessaloniki and yes that took me a few goes to pronounce. The Greek Super League is traditionally dominated by the Athens teams. Only seven titles have been won from teams outside of the capital. Three of those have been won by Pauk and three of those have been won by Aris. The rivalry began in the 1920s with upper class local Greeks supporting Aris and working class immigrants supporting Pauk. This is a heated rivalry in every sense of the word. On derby days, the stadium turns into a bonfire of pyro and violence between fans is very common. Aris are actually named after Ares, the Greek god of war, which seems appropriate. Number five, Al Ahli versus Zamalek. The Cairo derby of Al Ahli versus Zamalek is arguably the biggest game in African football. Traditionally, Zamalek were the team of the wealthy and Al Ahli were the team of the people. The lines are a little bit more blurred these days, but the divisions between the two clubs are as deep as ever. The fans fight each other and the police and foreign referees are brought over to officiate the game to ensure there's no bias. In 2020, the two teams faced off in the CAF 
Champions League final in what was dubbed as the African game of the century. Unfortunately, the game had to be played behind closed doors due to the COVID-19 pandemic, meaning no fans were in the stadium. Al Akli took the bragging rights on that day, running out 2-1 winners. The fans are now allowed back in the stadium and the atmosphere at these games would rival a Boca versus River game. Number four, Nacional versus Peñarol. Our first entry from South America comes in at number four. The Uruguayan Clásico takes place in Montevideo between Nacional and Peñarol. The matches usually take place at the Estadio Centenario, and that's the stadium that hosted the first ever World Cup final in 1930. The rivalry on the pitch and in the stands is fierce, and unfortunately has also spilled out into everyday life. In 2016, there was a shooting that resulted in the death of a Peñarol fan. And in 2019, a Nacional supporter was shot dead during celebrations. Both teams have had continental success. Luis Suarez's boyhood club Nacional with three Copa Libertadores titles and Peñarol holding five. Despite all of the history, success and great players, this derby is massively overlooked outside of Uruguay. Number three. FC Copenhagen versus Bromby. We're heading to Denmark next for the Copenhagen derby. This is the newest fixture on our list as FC Copenhagen were only formed in 1992 after two teams were merged, but they wasted no time at all in starting a heated rivalry with the existing Copenhagen team, Bromby. Bromby fans take great pleasure in reminding FC Copenhagen fans about their lack of history, but FC Copenhagen fans can clap back with their 14 league titles in the last 30 years. Derby days are fierce, with both sets of fans organising marches, pyro and impressive choreos. Clashes between ultras are common, with 44 fans being issued with criminal charges after 2017 derby. Not very hugger. Number 2. Atletico Nacional vs Deportivo Independiente Medellin Medellin in Colombia was once dubbed the murder capital of the world, so it's no surprise that things get a little heated on Derby Day. Back in the most dangerous days, there might have been a little bit of extra pressure on Atletico Nacional to win from one of their financial backers, a certain Pablo Escobar. These days the matches are safe for tourists to attend and generate some of the best atmospheres in world football. Both teams share the same home stadium and split it into a green, white, blue and red cauldron on derby days. As far as I'm concerned, the Medellin derby gives any other derby in the world a run for its money. It's definitely one to put on your to-do list. And also on your to-do list should be signing up to the free Pookie prediction game and have fun trying to predict match outcomes. The game involves these cool Pookie balls. You'll get to select Pookie balls of your own during sign up and they have different attributes. You can predict the scores for different leagues across Europe and use the Pookie balls to boost your scores. See my Pookie ball here has a 20% boost for Manchester City and a 15% boost on over 2.5 goals. That's really useful because when it comes to making my predictions, I'm going to go for a big Manchester City win to get those boosted points. And maybe Wolves might grab a goal as well. Every league has its own leaderboard and therefore its own rewards. There's a handy Pookie guide here which will give you everything you need to play. For now the game is completely free to play. I've signed up so come and have a go and compete against me. Click on the link in the description and get your predictions in. But now back to the top 10 list and can you guess what's at number one? Number one, the Stockholm Derbies. AIK, Gordon and Hammerby. For the top spot in our top 10 most underrated derby list, you're getting three for the price of one. The three Stockholm teams of AIK, Jurgården and Hammerby contest absolutely brilliant derby games between them, but no one outside of Sweden seems to even notice. The twin derby between AIK and Jurgården is probably the most fierce. Hammerby versus AIK sees the two teams with the most fans go head to head, and Hammerby and Jurgården share the same stadium, but aren't exactly friendly neighbours. Basically, they all absolutely hate each other and fights between fans are very common. The fan culture in Sweden is one of the best in Europe with amazing tifos, pyro and fan choreography, but it's barely spoken about outside of Scandinavia. And that's why the Stockholm derbies are number one on this list. So that's it, the top 10 most underrated derbies in the world. Do you agree with the list? Which derbies should have made it that weren't included? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to sign up to Pookie, link is in the description. If you're interested in more Derby Day content, then check out some of my other videos which are taking place at various derbies around Europe. And of course, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.